Good evening, my name is Such, Mark Such, and this evening I'm going to make you a very British drink, that being the James Bond Martini. James Bond, of course, being something that is very evocative of what is Britain. Now, the James Bond Martini is actually quite controversial. If you were to read in Fleming's novels, you'll find that 19 times he has a vodka martini and 16 a gin martini. However, once you expand that to the movie, you'll see that gin is pretty much the preferred drink in his particular martini. But obviously, wanting to be very careful about this and make sure I've, I've got the right ingredients for my drink, I contacted the lovely Maud Adams, of course a two-time Bond girl, and here she is, and she very, very quickly said to me, Mark, James is British, it has to be gin. So this evening, I'm going to make for you the James Bond gin martini. And it's very simple, simply two ingredients. We're going to start with some gin. I'm using Hendrix gin here, obviously a British gin. We're going to use 50 mils of that. So that's 30. And then another 20, 50 mils of that. And then you want to use a good dry vermouth, and I'm using a martini, which is a classic dry vermouth, and we're going to use only 10 mils of martini. So it's 5, uh, 50 centiliter, um, millimeters to 10. So there we go, 10 of dry martini. Now, obviously, one of the very important things about the James Bond martini that differs from other martinis is that Mr. Bond likes his martinis shaken and not stirred. So that's what we're going to do. Simply put the ingredients into a shaker over some ice. Give it a good shake. And we're then going to pour that into a martini glass. Sadly I don't have a classic martini glass, but this will do absolutely fine. Pour the shaken martini. It's got lovely ice crystals there on top. Into a martini glass. Like that. And finally we're going to garnish it with a few olives. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the very British, very Bond, James Bond Martini. Cheers.